Hello World. I'm Robin Catling, and this is Right On. Join me on my author journey as I delve into the craft of writing, with tips, tools, and lessons learned the hard way, so you don't have to. Murphy's 24-chapter structure. I have four books in progress, and the main crutch is Derek Murphy's 24-chapter structure, holding them all together. Without structure, novels are just so many words. Structure is vital, but it has to be the right structure. All in the journey. TV and movies have conditioned us to expect all the right notes in necessarily the right order to reach a satisfying experience. When the structure breaks, the ratings tank. If we recall Campbell's hero's journey, it goes back further to Gilgamesh, Homer and Greek theatre, even such texts as the Mahabharat. All the literary greats know how structure works, and you can find it in their work. You will find breakdowns of the ideal story structure, whatever that may be, using any number of steps, stages, plot points and chapters. Derek Murphy's version maps conveniently onto a full-length novel format. Even if the actual number of chapters varies, it hits all the right notes. It maps directly onto every story I've looked at from Pride and Prejudice to the IKEA flat pack that is the original Star Wars. There and back again. The short version of Murphy's structure goes something like this. Act 1. Chapter 1. Really bad day. We see the protagonist's ordinary world, find some empathy, and see their conflict. We show their flaw and their lack, their want, a problem, or a need. Chapter 2. Something peculiar. Something unique or strange happens, but they dismiss it. Chapter 3. Grasping at straws. Trying to regain control of the ordinary world, but the setbacks mount for our protagonist. Here we find the inciting incident, or call to adventure, which is chapter 4. Something extraordinarily different happens that they can't ignore. There's some major setback. Chapter 5. Head in sand. The new interrupts the old and causes conflict. It reveals our protagonist's dissatisfaction with the ordinary. Chapter 6. Pull out rug. Our main character is trying to fix the ordinary world problems while resisting the lure of the supernatural world. Act 2, Part A, beginning with our first plot point or point of no return. Chapter 7, Enemies and Allies. We explore the new world, meeting new characters, the protagonist finds their place and their role. All the main characters should be introduced by now. Chapter 8, Games and Trials. Struggling to belong, our protagonist experiences frustration and doubt, along with trials and challenges. We should now fully deliver the promise of the premise of the story. Chapter 9, Earning Respect. Our main character has a small victory as they prove capable. There's more fun and games and some begrudging acceptance. Which takes us to the first pinch point or first battle. Chapter 10 is Forces of Evil. The stakes are raised, the antagonists revealed. Chapter 11, Problem Revealed. There's some surprise problem or situation which demands answers. Chapter 12 is Discovery and Ultimatum. The protagonist finds some new information, we share their vulnerability, and they have to decide whether they are in or out. Which takes us to Act 2 Part B, which is our midpoint, and our change from Victim to Warrior. Chapter 13 is The Mirror Stage where our main character goes through self-realisation or comes to a discovery. It changes their role from victim to warrior. Chapter 14, Plan of Attack, is where they formulate their plan of attack to thwart the antagonist's forces or to overcome the main problem. Chapter 15 is Crucial Role, where the main character is trusted with an important task. And that leads us directly to the second pinch point or second battle. Chapter 16, Second battle. They execute the plan and come in direct conflict with the antagonist's forces. Chapter 17. Surprise failure. The plan goes horribly wrong thanks to faulty information or assumptions. And there are consequences. Chapter 18. Shocking revelation. Here we find the antagonist's full plan or true identity is revealed. The stakes are raised and the protagonist suffers guilt and anger. Act 3 finds us at our second plot point, or the main character's dark night of the soul. In chapter 19, giving up, they lose confidence, 
because the forces against them are too great. What they want is unattainable. Chapter 20, Pep Talk. Here they receive encouragement from an ally. There's someone to share their vulnerability, and they feel some inclusion. We reiterate what's at stake and the choices they have to make, which takes us to Chapter 21, Seizing the Sword. Here, they make a deliberate choice to continue, even if there's a slim chance of success. This takes us directly to the final battle, or Triumph Knowledge. It's not plain sailing. Chapter 22 is Ultimate Defeat. Here, we have the Triumph of the Villain. All hope is lost, and the main character has to confront their fatal flaw. Chapter 23 is Unexpected Victory. Here, they find the secret weapon or ability, a deep resolve, and a new understanding, or perhaps an unlikely ally. They remove the glass shard of their fatal flaw, and possibly make a sacrifice. Chapter 24 is Bittersweet Reflection. It's a temporary victory. The innocents are saved, and the protagonist can reflect on how far they've come. Rebirth. This is the return to the ordinary world. Optionally, we get hints of future challenges, or the discovery that the antagonist lives on. Chapter 25 is Death of Self. From Ambition to Service. The death of the former self comes with some sort of acknowledgement or ceremony. Derek Murphy's 24 chapter plot outline is over on the Creative Indie site. That's all for this time. Thanks for stopping by. You can like and subscribe to the channel for more tips, or visit robincatling.info to check out the blog.